I just saw a red warthog, which is actually the other rare. You have albino and red for the two rares, and I think red can only be female, and I'm pretty sure she was. So they're running into this opening. I decided to just, like, run after them when they didn't come back out where I initially saw them. And I gotta think she's down here. I think I see her. Yeah, there she is. So you can use the 7 mil on these now. I'm gonna try to get over here where the shot is gonna be a little more broadside just so we can get the vital bonus. Let's see if we can get that. Well, that'll work. Should get the vital bonus and everything. I mean, I'm pretty sure female warthog can't even make bronze. Maybe they can, but we'd like to get whatever we can out of this. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Haven't killed one of these in a couple of months, and definitely I don't have any Warthog in the new lodge, so we'll go ahead and uh, get that added, and I think that'll be a, a pretty nice little addition. Those, like, little platforms, there's not a lot of species that can go on them, and this is one of them, so that'll look good, I think. She kind of died in a nice spot. Just a couple of quick screenshots, and we'll take a look at this. So yeah, it actually can make bronze. Alright, there's a level 5 spring buck. Literally 400 meters away. And just trotting away. He's right there. I don't know that I can cut him off. Like, I think I spooked him out of this string zone. I don't know. But the wind is bad, and it would actually be good if I could approach him from the south. That's just so far away, like, he's gonna have so much time to go elsewhere. His drink zone still lasts, like, I think they're till 1900. So there's time, like, if he's gonna come back. But I just don't know, and I have the 243. Let's go here, we're gonna get the Mosin, and we're gonna head back. I think, worst case scenario, we have to track him a bit, but we have him marked, which is gonna be useful, but... Yeah, I do want to switch up my loadout a bit, because I don't trust that 243 for long-range shots. And I feel like the way he's acting, just going like further and further away, it seems, we probably are going to need a long-range shot. But yeah, I saw him when he spooked out of that drink zone. Like, I saw him for a split second. He was running through the trees. I happened to get him spotted. And then I probably sat there for like 10 minutes waiting for him to come back. And I finally saw him at that other end there. So I don't love our chances of getting him with a bow. I do have the bow, and I grab the collar, like, in case we can get something lined up, but there's around 15 minutes real time until his zone ends, so if he goes back there, maybe we can try it since the wind's going to be okay, but honestly, I want to make sure we get him. I don't even know if that was bigger horns or not, like, I never got a good enough look, but hopefully we can get over here and figure that out without too much of an issue, because I don't really know what we're going to do when it gets dark. I don't know what Springbuck do. Maybe feed. I'm just not sure. Okay, so these are going to be his tracks. And it looks like he was already turning even here. That's a run. Like, did I spook him just now? The good news is the way uh, tracks age now, I think it's going to be quite obvious whether this is new or not. And it is, so he must have just been hanging out in these trees. If he had just taken a few more steps... We probably could have just seen where he was. But again, it opens up quite nicely out here. So we're gonna, like, get through this grass and then slow down. Because, like, I bet we can see him. Maybe he's, like, down below that first hill. But I would say, if we take our time here, he'll be stopped or trotting or whatever out here. And we just gotta hopefully get a broadside shot lined up, because... This looks super promising. It is actually weird though he's by himself because he was with a herd. And I don't know like how the herd rejoining mechanic works or if there is one really. It's actually a little bit concerning. All of these tracks are just run. It's as if he's not stopping. Actually that went to trot there. And he's going, I mean out across here. There he is. I bet that's him. Yep. Alright, so... Question is... Can we get him broadside? Not so much at the moment. And he's just... Because he's nervous. Even with the collar, we're not going to bring him in. But... We know where he's at. 
We'll mark him. And we'll slowly kind of try to hang with him. Eventually, he's either going to decide to return to his zone. So we got to watch kind of to the right. That lake is right over there. Or, honestly, it might just be best that he continues forward and we can see him in the open, like, beyond these trees. I uh, hear... No way. Is that him? That is him. I can tell by the horns. He's alert, but... We're this close. I want to try to get him with the bow. I did not expect for him to be just chilling right there at the edge. I need to get forward, like, into this where I'm hidden. So I wonder if he's coming back or if he's just, like, hanging out there because it almost felt like he was hanging out in the last spot. I do think he's actually coming back, though. I don't know how far that is, but if he'll stop right there, please stop. Notice me. How do you not see me? Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Okay. Take a step forward. No, you want to. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. I really did not think we'd be taking that dude with the bow. He is the small horns, though. I noticed that a bit ago. So he is far from a guarantee. But especially, like, in this low light. Get a nice picture with the tracer. I gotta... I hate to, uh, <laughs> delay things, but have to turn tracks off. That's just such a neat picture with that tracer on the busted arrow in his shoulder. Just looks perfect, but please make it. This was just so cool. Ah, he's so close. He's literally on it. He's at the weight. 40.91 would usually make it. He's low trophy rating for his weight. Dang. It must be like 110.65 or whatever. And he's 110.64 something like that. We're actually going to mount him so we can go see. And we'll put him in the trophy lodge with our uh, red warthog. But, man. I just wanted that so bad when it worked so perfectly at the end. But, yeah, let's go uh, Let's go see. I want to see what his trophy rating was. Just to figure out what the hidden decimal is, to be honest. But every now and then I got to have a, uh, a maybe diamond in the title that actually doesn't end up making it, just to make sure you guys don't always know based off the title. But, um, yeah, let's... I don't know where I want to put him. I'll probably just put him... Actually, let's do him in here. Because I know that I've never done, like, Springbuck on this, and I've been trying to do things differently. He's 110.65. How, like... I would assume it would round. And it would say 110.67 if that's what you needed. Like, if you needed anything above 110.65, that's just odd. I don't know. But anyway, not a big deal. I really want the bigger horns on them, so can't be too upset. And actually, I think putting the Warthog just opposite the Albino Jackal is kind of a cool idea. Yeah, so this one, I don't know if it's actually, like, meant to be aggressive, but it looks like it is. We'll just face that inwards a little bit so it fits. I like that. So I guess this ends up being the kill of the video. I really, like, the way that Springbuck went, like, the kind of stock forward at the end and just the perfect screenshot with the tracer, I really wanted that to make diamond. But even still, this is a really cool kill. I like the red warthogs. I think they can only be female. I'm not certain about that. Actually, if any of you guys have killed a red male, let me know in the comments. But, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these um, kind of, like, longer single... I guess this video was two animals, but single animal hunts, like where you get to see more of the stock and stuff, because I think, I think that could be enjoyable, but let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.